Hi, I'm Frank Pettiflu from Omega Sonics, and today we're going to be talking about contents processing for fire, mold, and any type of water damage where we'd need to process contents. So the, the first thing we want to ask is what is ultrasound? And what the simplest way to describe ultrasound is it's a stereo system in water. We have stereo speakers, we call them transducers, that will be inside the tank. And then we have an amplifier, we call it an ultrasonic generator, that is part of the machine, and it's the electronics. And what we're doing is we're transmitting sound waves through water. So we're creating a vacuum bubble. So what a vacuum bubble does is it has an implosion of energy. And an implosion means that it sucks in on itself. So if we had an explosion, if we had a bomb, the bomb explodes out. In an implosion, we have it collapsing on itself. So think of a black hole. If you're a Star Trek nerd, if you uh, are a science guy, implosion, it's a vacuum release where the, where the air pressure or the vacuum pressure collapses on itself. Uh, another way to describe this is a, a Pac-Man bubble. So it's basically eating the dirt off a part. And we're doing that through the process of cavitation. We operate for contents restoration, we operate in the 40 kilohertz range. And to give you an idea of how, what size that is, that bubble diameter is a, somewhere between 25 and 150 microns. So if you were to take, pluck off a piece of hair and look at the diameter of that piece of hair, that diameter is about 150 microns. So the bubble we're creating in that tank, in the ultrasonic tank that we'll look at later, is roughly that size or a quarter that size. So it's a very, very tiny, minute bubble. And within a machine, within a minute, we might create a million, 1.3 million bubbles per minute. So obviously that's a very tiny, we can't see that vacuum bubble. This is a picture of an actual cavitation bubble under a high-powered microscope. I think this is at 10,000 uh, uh, power. And so what you see is we have water and then the bubble, and internally, this bubble is now collapsing. You can see a black mark at the top. It's basically sucking in on itself. So this bubble will actually collapse on itself and implode. So as it implodes, it's pulling the dirt off the part. And so that's really what we're doing here in uh, the, the process. This equipment is used throughout industry in medical, so any type of surgical uh, uh, Tooling all goes through an ultrasonic process for cleaning and sterilization. Uh, this is used in aerospace and military, so uh, to clean all the components on a jet engine, uh, all the nuts and bolts that have to be passivated all go through an ultrasonic process. So this is a very high-end precision process. Anybody that has a computer has a, some type of a processor, whether it's an Intel or an AMD processor. The, uh, the deposition tooling that they use to put the uh, the argon gas down on the silicon wafers all have to be cleaned after so many hours. Those all go through an ultrasonic process. So we're taking a very high, high technology and using it in the contents processing world for the basic reason that it's more thorough because if we're using it for surgical, if we're using it for Intel, if we're using it for HP, it's gonna do a very, very precise job of cleaning. So when you're out doing a contents job, you're delivering back product that is as pristine and clean as you can get, much better than you can do by hand. The other advantage is it's much, much quicker. So there are some advantages from a costing standpoint, and uh, there is an advantage to the insurance company because you're able to recover things that normally, if you were cleaning by hand, you would be throwing away. We can recover maybe 20 to 30% more contents so that generally get discarded.